like that. I'll keep my voice down a little bit because it's uh, late at night. But uh, basically, this is how I uh, clean my guitar strings before I play now. And all I do is I just wipe them down with a bit of kitchen paper. So there's the kitchen paper, and I'll just show you how I do that. What I do is each string, I kind of like pinch it and then move all the way up and try and get underneath like that. And I just do that on each of them. I don't know if that'll show up, but you should get some uh, sort of dark lines on the paper, you know, the sort of gunk that was on the strings. You go all the way from the bottom up to the top, and the main thing to watch out for, I would say, when you're doing this, you pull the strings outwards so you, you're really getting underneath. But I, I would avoid putting any side to side pressure on the string, particularly when you get to the top, because you can break the nut if you're not. Uh, that's very common breakage you see on second hand guitars. The nut can break. So let's see, we'll go all the way from the bottom up to the top as much as I can. Keeping the string as straight as possible. And there we go. And there we go. That's all of them. And then let's just go underneath them all. And as I said, I do this before I play. And I find this makes the strings last a lot longer. I dare say the oils from your hand have a corrosive effect, apart from gunking everything up. There we go. So, uh, oh, again, uh, what I did then is I used a bit too much side to side pressure and it moved the string. So it made a little clicking sound. I, it moved the string at the knot. So I just pushed it back. But uh, there we go. Now, I have got some stuff like. I've got some. I have got some fast fret, and that is good stuff, but I use it differently. I use it when the strings have really had it. If you've got like a spare guitar or something that's hardly ever played, sometimes you go back to the string and it can be a bit disgusting and a bit dead sounding. And it's good for that. It's good for bringing them back to life. So they're the last resort, in my opinion. But this is as good or better, and it costs practically nothing. <laughs> 